Hello and welcome to the V-Ray for SketchUp series. In this episode, we will explore different lighting techniques to add realism and mood to our evening scene. In the previous episode, I showed you how you can create different evening scenarios by using the V-Ray Sun and Sky system. When we are creating the lighting for an evening exterior with the building as the main focal point, a good rule is to always think about the contrast between the cold outdoor environment and the warm lights inside the house. A good lighting setup is always balanced without any areas in complete lightness or darkness, and all color tones should complement each other. I'll start the interactive rendering mode to visualize the changes we'll make. The first thing we're going to do is to create a dome light and add an evening HDRI. That way we'll have a starting point for our lighting setup. Thanks to the Chaos Cosmos browser, we can simply go to the HDRI section and pick one from the vast library. Now that we've chosen the HDRI, let's add a dome light from the lighting toolbar. Now all we need to do is copy the HDRI texture from the Textures tab and paste it into the texture slot of the dome light. You can see that the HDRI I picked casts a lot of blue light. This blue light will be the cold tones in our lighting setup. Let's lock the camera orientation so we can move freely in the scene without updating the camera in the VFP. If you don't like the positioning of your HDRI, you can enable the Use Transform option and rotate the dome light in your scene. Now let's add some warm orange tones on the inside of the house to create contrast with the sky. Heading back to the lighting toolbar, these are all the artificial lights Vira offers. In this episode, we'll take a look at the spherical and rectangular light. We'll start with the spherical light. This lamp casts light in a radius around the light source. Generally, spherical lights are used to light up closed spaces like the interior of this house. So let's create one. We can do so by clicking anywhere in the scene and dragging. You will notice that the lighting we just created is a white ball emitting light. This can be used if you want to simulate a light bulb, but in this case we only want to emit light. To do so, we can click on the invisible option here. Now I have positioned the sphere light inside the house so it emits light evenly throughout the whole space. If the light coming from the sphere is not enough, you can increase its intensity. Note that there are different types of units that you can work with, so pick the one you prefer. We will increase the lamp intensity until we see that the inside of the house has become brighter than the outside. Now it's time to adjust the colors. As I mentioned earlier, our goal is to balance the cold and warm tones in the image. For the colors of the interior lamps, we'll use the Kelvin scale. We'll stay around the 2700 to 3000 Kelvin range. These type of warm lamps are generally used in bedrooms and living room spaces. They create a sense of warmth and welcomeness. You will notice that we are starting to get the complementary balance between the warm and cold. Next up is the rectangular light. This artificial light can cast light in a specific direction, generally used to simulate light sources like projectors or cone-shaped lamps. We can create one the same way as the spherical one. Click and drag. Let's position the lamp just below the light body. Let's disable the sphere light so we can see how the rectangular light is fitting into our scene. We can do so by clicking on the icon of the light source. I'll increase the light's intensity so we can see its effect. Now let's look at how the directionality works. Right now the lamp has zero directionality and casts light evenly throughout its surface. By increasing the directionality, you can see that we start to limit the affected area of the lamp but we start creating a more intense beam of light. There is no right or wrong way to adjust the directionality of a lamp. It fully depends on your artistic vision. Now let's adjust the color to be in the same warm range as the sphere light. In this tutorial, we set out to understand what artificial lights are and how to create a well-balanced lighting in our scene. In the next episode, we'll finish setting up the lighting in our evening scene by adding artificial lights on the outside. I hope you found this information useful and you will apply it in your own personal work. Thank you for being part of the V-Ray experience.